Hello students, in this video we will discuss questions based on rationalization. In previous session we discussed what is rationalization and how to perform rationalization for the given denominator. Here we will discuss some more questions based on rationalizing the denominator and we have to find out the values of a and b. If you observe these questions, these are different from what we discussed in previous video. So let's see how we can solve these questions on the board. Students, the question is find the values of a and b for the following. In order to find the values of a and b, let's simplify the left hand part. Then we will compare the rational and irrational parts with the right hand side. In order to simplify that, let's do the rationalization. So the question given is root 3 minus 1 by root 3 plus 1. So in order to simplify, we will take the rationalization factor for this denominator. As you know that rationalization factor for this is root 3 minus 1. So let's multiply with that numerator and denominator. So that is equals to root 3 minus 1 into root 3 minus 1 whole divided by root 3 plus 1 into root 3 minus 1. So let's write the identities which we are going to use. The first identity is root a minus b whole square that is equals to a plus b square minus 2 into root a into b. Right students? The next identity is root a plus b into root a minus b that is equals to root a square minus b square or we can write it as a minus b square by cancelling square and square roots. So let's apply these identities over here that is root 3 minus 1 whole square divided by this is in the form of this identity so it is root 3 square minus 1 square. This is equals to by applying the identity it is 3 plus 1 minus 2 into 1 into root 3 divided by cancel of square and square root so it is 3 minus 1. So that is equals to 3 plus 1 4 minus 2 root 3 divided by 2. So if we observe this here we can take 2 as a common factor right students. So once you take 2 as a common it is 2 minus root 3 divided by 2. So cancel out square 2 and 2. So that is equals to 2 minus root 3. Now let us compare this with the right hand side. That is 2 minus root 3 is equals to a plus b root 3. If you compare the rational part, so a is equals to 2, right? And b is equals to, b is nothing but coefficient of root 3. So b is equals to minus 1. Students, let's solve the second question. Here we have to find out only the value of a. The given question is 5 plus 2 root 3 divided by 7 plus 4 root 3. So first simplify the left hand side in order to do that we will take rationalization for the denominator. So it is 5 plus 2 root 3 divided by 7 plus 4 root 3. For this rationalization factor is 7 minus 4 root 3 divided by 7 minus 4 root 3. So this is equals to 5 plus 2 root 3 into 7 minus 4 root 3 divided by 7 plus 4 root 3 into 7 minus 4 root 3. So, let us multiply 5 with 7 minus 4 root 3. So, that is 5 into 7, 35 minus 5 into 4, it is 20 root 3. Here, 2 root 3 into 7, so it is 14 root 3 minus 2 into 4, 8 and root 3 square. This whole divided by, which is in the form of a plus b into a minus b. So, it is 7 square minus 4 root 3 square. So this is equals to 35 and here these two are like terms so we can subtract. So minus 20 root 3 plus 14 root 3 so it is minus 6 root 3 minus 8 into here we can cancel square and square root. So 8 into 3 it is 24 whole divided by 7 square is 49 minus 4 root 3 square. 4 square is 16 into root 3 square is 3. So 16 into 3 it is 48. So this is equals to 35 minus 24 which is 11 minus 6 root 3 divided by 
49 minus 48 it's 1 so therefore it is 11 minus 6 root 3 divided by 1 so this is equals to a minus 6 root 3 if we compare both the left hand and right hand side so a value is 11 therefore a is equals to 11 students let's look into the third question if you observe this here we have to find out the value of a and the rational part is going to be in the form of fraction so let's consider the given question that is 3 minus root 5 divided by 3 plus 2 root 5 in order to simplify let's do the rationalization for the denominator so that is 3 minus root 5 divided by 3 plus 2 root 5 multiplied with 3 minus 2 root 5 divided by 3 minus 2 root 5 this is equals to 3 minus 3 minus root 5 into 3 minus 2 root 5 this whole divided by 3 plus 2 root 5 into 3 minus 2 root 5 right students so let's do the multiplication that is 3 into 3 it's 9 minus 3 into 2 root 5 it's 6 root 5 minus root 5 into 3 so it's minus 3 root 5 here minus into minus plus 2 into root 5 whole square divided by in the denominator it is in the form of a plus b into a minus b so a square that is 3 square minus b square that is 2 root to 5 whole square so this is equals to 9 minus 6 root 5 minus 3 root 5 it's minus 9 root 5 plus 2 into here we can cancel out square and square root so it's 5 this whole divided by 3 square is 9 minus 2 square is 4 into root 5 square is 5 right students so 4 into 5 it's 20 so this is equals to 9 plus 5 into 2 is 10 so we can write it as 19 minus 9 root 5 divided by 9 minus 20 it's minus 11 let's take minus as common in the numerator so we can write it as 9 root 5 minus 19 whole divided by minus 11 so let's cancel out minus and minus so that is equals to 9 divided by 11 into root 5 minus 19 by 11 this is equals to a root 5 minus 19 by 11 now we can compare both the sides that is right hand left hand side then it will be a is equals to by equating a to this then a is equals to 9 by 11 right students let's look into the fourth question solution here we have to find out the values of a and b so in order to find out that let's simplify the left hand side by doing rationalization of denominator that is root 2 plus root 3 divided by 3 root 2 minus 2 root 3 for this rationalization factor is 3 root 2 plus 2 root 3 this whole divided by 3 root 2 plus 2 root 3 let's do the multiplication that is root 2 plus root 3 into 3 root 2 plus 2 root 3 divided by 3 root 2 minus 2 root 3 into 3 root 2 plus 2 root 3 right students let's do the multiplication so root 2 into 3 root 2 that is 3 into root 2 square plus 2 into this is root 2 into root 3 so it is root 6 plus 3 into again root 3 into root 2 it is also root 6 plus 2 into root 3 square this divided by it this is in the form of a minus b into a plus b so we can write it as 3 root 2 square minus 2 root 3 square right students so this is equals to here root 2 square so we can cancel out square and square root so 3 into 2 it is 6 plus 2 root 6 plus 3 root 6 we can add it so it's 5 root 6 plus here we can cancel out square and square root so 2 into 3 it is 6 this whole divided by 3 root 2 square 3 square is 9 into root 2 square is nothing but 2 so 9 into 2 is 18 minus 
2 square is 4, 4 into root 3 square is 3. So, 4 into 3 it is 12. This is equals to 6 plus 6, 12 plus 5 root 6 whole divided by 18 minus 12, it is 6. Or we can write it as 12 by 6 plus 5 by 6 root 6. This is equals to here we can cancel out 6 and 12. So, it is 2 plus 5 by 6 root 6. Now, let us compare the left hand side with right hand side. That is a minus b root 6. Or this part we can write it as 2 minus of minus 5 by 6 into root 6. Therefore, a is equals to 2 and b is equals to minus 5 by 6. Right students? Students, in next video we will discuss some more questions based on rationalization of denominator. Thank you for listening and have a great day.